In fact, blowing up his own prize figure. Let's build. Hi, welcome to Abe Watson. This is the June 2023 Anime Figures haul. You might be wondering what is the hat? This is because quite a few of the figures we'll be unboxing will be a Spy Family. And then even more Spy Family coming in the July 2023 haul. Let's start with our first one. We have Miwa from Band Festival Jun Hata prize figure line. Aha, right, let's unbox. Yeah, that with blue hair. The Miyazaki man would love that. Ah, let's build now. Slide the side buff into her hand and then slide the other hand onto the handle while maneuvering the hand to go into the arm. It's pretty tricky. Next to the base, two pegs. Then we have Jun Tonda Kata Kasumi Miwa standing at six inches. On close up, a bit of a flat finish on the hair, no shading at all, big eyes and with a battle expression. Good details on the sword handle. The palm foot's a bit long on the hand holding the sword. Shiny brown finish on the side buff. It's a shame the fit doesn't sit flush with the stand. It looks really awkward there. Let's put in the Taiko Miwa for comparison. While the overall height is different, the actual figure is quite small compared with Taiko due to the different pose. They have a different prices. The Taiko has a really nice graphic and gloss to the base. Let's compare the head sculpt. The Taiko has more movement and a lighter blue I felt like the band pressure head shape them a bit more. It's been some of the marquee for comparison. The title marquee is 10 pretty tall over Miwa with the action pose at 6.9 inches. Jun Kono Kakwaza, okay. It's just a strange quite tall uh, with the action pose at 6.5 inches. On band pressure, Jun Kono Kata is a perfect fit but has a really uninteresting pose standing at 6.1 inches. For finally spending Gojo, I think Miwa will be quite happy with that. There is one more alternate price figure for Miwa. It's the Juho no Jutsu action pose in Miwa from band pressure. Some great comparisons. Let's move on to the next unboxing. Harry the Daria from La Luto Superdon. This is from Band Pistol for our Western Stars. Alright, let's unbox. I always found the Daidawa quite interesting, being an artist myself, and now he is a figure himself. I wonder what do you think about blowing up his own prize figure? Let's build. So legs to torso. So attach the ponytails to his head, attach the stand to the back of the Daola, and attach the stand to the base. Here we have the Naruto Superton Vibration Stars the Daola in an action pose. Looking pretty tall, saying at 7.6 inches. On close up, I like the super smooth finish on his hair. You see his eye piece under the hair, shiny finish on his headband, with cool black outlines on his eyes. Nice black finish on the Akushuki while making his jutsu and leaping off the base. Good finish on his ponytail, with great movements on the cloak. Let's bring in the Sasori for comparison. Both from the same finish, and by both from the Van Presto Vibration Stars. Sasori is sent at 5.9 inches, as more due to his fighting pose. Doing quite nice to death, that way to get all the Vibration Star Akusuki. This is actually an alternate outfit for the Dala. I wonder if they'll do the pop up version for Sasori. Totally. Let's turn to down Mary Lane and have oh, Yusuke from Yu Yu Hakusho. This is part of the 30th anniversary celebration. This is from Band Pesto Prize Figures. Alright, let's unbox. I actually only know Yu Yu Hakusuke from playing the Game Boy game. But I did plan to read the manga digitally. I'm also looking to do a video about what devices are good for reading manga on. What's going on here? The figure is so small for such a big box. Ah, oh, bit disappointed by the figure already. Let's build legs to torso. Slide the stand to his legs. Stand at 5.2 inches. So disappointing. I do like the green highlights on the front of his hair. Great details on the fringe and finish to the face. It's very plain finish on the green outfit if not for the golden button. Man, this is also plain. The stand is a funny shape but not overly distracting to the figure. I have three more of these figures pre-ordered. I'm dreading the open doors and see how spoony they are. If you think these figures oh, looks great, please dip it a like. I am disappointed with two out of three of these figures. Hopefully the Spy Family ones will have to lift up the overall quality of these figures. Alright, <laughs> let's continue on. We have the Twilight, this is from Sega SPM, as well as the Thorn Princess, also from Sega SPM. Alright, let's unbox. I'm very happy to find that hold of them in the alternate ego outfit. Or oh, is this the real version of them? I quite like this version of the outfit. So, hey, there are instructions on the back of the box. Not many price figures have them. Oh, both of them come protected in bubble wrap. Well, I love the look of these. Let's build. Attach the arm for Lloyd. I snuggle it in. And the gun goes into the hand. Very nice. And two pegs into the base. Well, very straightforward. And for you, got the two weapons. Key to attach. Take that away from now. This one I can just slide from the other side. Put in here, over the hand. There we go. And the two legs to the back, one to place. 
And here we have the Twilight and the Thorn Princess. So now 7.7 inches and 6.7 inches respectively. The Sega SPM are generally quite tall. Close up on Twilight, two shades of the hair, top and bottom. Sharp eyes and serious expression. Nice layers of clothing and holding the gun. Close up on the Thorn Princess, golden hair hairband with a nice long black hair. Big red eyes with a deadly look. The dress is black with a semi gloss on it. The golden finish on the weapons in her hand. The nice rose embroidered on the back of her dress. Thorn is walking in. Anya is joining the display. Looking great together especially with the matching white bases. It will really similar prices back to 30 US each. Look like they scale well today as well. So check out those boxes. So nice to have them as a collection. Let's finish off with a double unboxing. We have the Sega PM Lloyd party wear and the pop-up parade of Lloyd Forger slash Twilight. Alright let's unbox. You liking the different design for this? Different way of formal feel to it. Let's get the pop-up parade as well. Man been some really cool pop-up parade now recently. Just can't stop the indies. Loving all the different characters to cover been covering but they do take a lot of storage space because of the size of the boxes. Alrighty. Whoa, they actually changed the base. This is completely new. First time I've seen it. Interesting. Wonder if it's just for the spy family or is this a bit for all the public play? Let's put them together. Legs to the base, two pegs. Uh, is it quite flush this time? Gun goes into Roy's hands. Finger connects in. Then three pegs. Wow, that really changes all the pop parade. Goes in. Nice. Here are the Sega PM and Pop Lloyd Voyager. Looking well stylish. Surprisingly, the Sega is a slightly taller by 0.1 inch. Let's have a closer look at the Sega one. Good finish on the hair, but a sharp look on the eye. I'm not sure if the black suit goes well with Lloyd's. The Pop Up Parade, only one color finish on the hair, and a dull look on the face. The Pop Up Parade is holding a gun. The laser on the is looking even nicer. Nice boxy shapes and folds. I like that they both kept the web tie, the pin, and the handkerchief. Alright, let's bring some more of the Lloyd's. Three are from Sega, and the fourth one is from Pop Up Parade. All on one basis. All pretty similar heights as well. But Pop is the most expensive of the lot. Let's compare the faces. Uh, two of the Sega's pimples have the same head sculpt and the players same one has the same hair sculpt. But overall, I think I still prefer the Sega SPM finish on the head. So compared to Lois in their spy outfits, Green Island outfit is different shades. From the back, the Sega one has a bit more of a dramatic action, while the Pop Up Parade is a bit more grounded. On white bases, so usually for Pop Up Parade, they have a extra on color base. Left with the guns. Let's check them out. Same shape, but surprisingly, the Sega one has extra color on the grip, while the Pop Up Parade doesn't. Uh, I've seen the Pop you do pay more. I guess the trade-off is a pop-up play. Think of West is on the trigger while the Sega one just hovers. It's sort of just next to the trigger. Let me know which one is better. Pop-up play or Sega? Let's do some quick pan with the Spy Family figures. Pop-up play with the Fawn Princess. So it's really well. The details are nice for both of them. Different faces are really fine off. Alright, Sega, the party with the plain clothes. Slight different scales. The best is similar style but different sizes. With both of them having the Spy Family logo on it. And the Formal Lord paired up with a plain clothes Yaw. It's your blessing. Very good scale, the best style and size goes well together. Here are the Lloyd's figures together. I feel like the formal wear is just the weird colour of the spy outfit. Ah, and there we have the June 2023 anime figure 4. Very degree of sizes and a whole stack of spy family figures. Mostly Lloyd's. If you'd like to see the previous anime figures unboxing, please go over here and I'll see you in the next video. Alright, bye.